bloody hell, he overtook on a bend then. That's good. Okay, you've just been the doctors, right? And uh, it's the last doctor on earth because everybody else has died, right? So this doctor says to you, he says, right, he says, everybody on earth has died and I'm going to go next. So you'll be the last in line of any living thing on this planet, right? And he says, I'm passing this to you because there's bugger all I can do about it. Even though I'm a doctor, I can't do bugger all about uh, your, your, your imminent death. The only thing that I can do is guarantee you the date when you're gonna when you're gonna die because it's a specific virus. It's not a non-specific one. It's a specific virus, and I can tell you for sure that you're gonna have three months from now, and on the you know on that particular date, which I'll, he wrote down on the uh, piece of paper, like the prescription. It says there'll be uh, a kill switch, right? And the kill switch will whack off on this date. And he passes us a, a piece of paper and a calendar, because he's quite generous, and it's a decent calendar. It's not an advert one, it's not from the Building Society. It's a nice calendar. And he also passes you a really nice, sharp pencil, so that you can scratch each day off, right? So he rings this particular date, uh, day off, sorry, uh, on the on the calendar with the pencil, the sharp pencil, and he, and he says that's the day, that's the kill day, that's the kill day. He says I'll be gone before then because I've only got another bloody week to go. He says, but there are some perks with this kill date. He says uh, the night before the kill date. Uh, you'll be set up with a really lovely meal. You can have anything you want, your last meal if you like. And he says, I don't know who's going to cook it, but it'll, it'll appear. It might be from, I don't know, some divine place, I don't know. But any road up, he says, uh, yeah, he says you can have the best meal that you've ever had. Whatever you choose, to be the best meal that you've ever had. And he says, also, I'm going to give you a tablet here. He says, it don't matter whether you're young, old, whatever. This, this tablet, he says, what this tablet will do is immediately whiz you back to the best position you've ever been, i.e. health-wise, right? So whether it's in your teens, you're, you're even younger than that. But it's going to whiz you back. And say like me, where I'm 60 and a half, it'll whiz me back to the best, you know, probably my early 20s when I were fit. And I got air. It's going to whiz you back there, sort of thing. So you'll have a full head of air. Well, I will. And I won't have um, airs growing out my nostrils. They'll all disappear. My ear all uh, air will disappear. So I won't have any horrible things like that that you get when you get older. And I'll be virile, you know, like a bloody stud, like he used to be when I roll out, right? But the only problem is, there's no bugger left on this planet. But he says there is other perks as well, besides the, uh, you know, the pill that I've just given you to make you feel really good. It says, um, you won't need money, you can get anything you want from any of the shops or, or whatever and do whatever you want, right? So I come out of the doctor's surgery, don't I, and I think to myself, now what am I going to do here? I've got three months to do whatever I want and I feel as fit as a fiddle. So what am I going to do? So what I think I would do, and, uh, and this is what I would do, right? 
I, I, I divide the three months into three, so we've got three equal ones with something to do, right? And I'd say, right, on the first one, what I'll do is... Um, I'll have a new motorbike. No. Yes. Or should I? So I think to myself, well, shall I go and get a new motorbike and do a bit of touring for a month? Go wherever I want. Because I can go and get petrol wherever I want. Because all the uh, petrol machines are working, and no attendance, obviously, but they're working, so I can fill up as much petrol as I want. So shall I get a new bike? Shall I get down the bike shop and grab whatever bike I want? And I'm thinking to myself, well, I've only got a month. So it was a shame to waste it, and I do like Henry. So I think what I'd do is, is keep Henry, right? And I just I just wonder off like Kane in the Kung Fu series, you know, just do a bit of wondering on me bike. So that'd be nice. I'd just wonder about. No need to motor one because there's no bother out there and listen. It's a bit like now. So um yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd, I'd go wondering why I came for a month. And I'd scratch my days off with my free pencil and calendar. And, uh, yeah, I think I'd enjoy that for a month. I'd be stuck to Britain because, um, you know, there's no bugger to, to sell the boats or whatever you call it, drive them, I don't know. So, yeah, I'd do that for a month. Now the second one, what I'd do, I think then, I'd say, right, I've had a good good time on Henry, and uh, it's been a few miles, a few thousand miles, and I've really enjoyed that. What I'll do now is play about with some mechanical stuff, like I might try an aeroplane or um, a fast boat or, or whatever. I might even have a go in an helicopter, I've never had a go in one of them. So I, I try and learn from the other point of doing, uh, you know, what it means doing yourself how to fly books or how to ride an helicopter books, you know, for idiots, one of them. So I'd nip in WH Smith's get how to fly an helicopter for idiots. And I'd do that for a month, right? So that'd be fun, you know, all the different bloody bits of it, machinery and that. And also, on the second one, what I'd do as well is visit all the finest restaurants and try out their food that uh, they'd obviously pre-packaged before they all disappeared, probably have to whack them in a microwave or something. But you can't have everything. So I'd do that for the second one, right? Now the third one, feeling a bit frisky at this time because I'm, you know, I'm back to my youth with all my uh, what's-its working. I think you feel a bit frisky, but I don't know what you'd do. Well, I suppose you'd have to take matters in hand or whatever you do. So, probably do a bit of that on the third one, you know. Get your frustration out of your system. Yeah, and uh, I don't know what I'd do then. I'm starting to drag a bit now. Now, halfway through the month, because your bloody arms aching and that, and you got rid of all your frustration, by this st stage it's getting a bit boring because everybody's gone before you. So, uh, you know, you've got two weeks to go, so you think, oh, bollocks to this, I'm fed up of being on me bloody own. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll go to the gates of the end and see if I can book in early, go out the way. So you go to the gates of the end and you say, can I have me die uh, switch activated, please, because I'm, I'm getting a bit bored. Right. And the uh, spirit at the die gate says, uh, sorry mate, you're not due for another couple of weeks. So I'm afraid you've got to go back. Now this is the question I'm putting to me vloggers. What would you do 
in them two weeks. There you are, it's a very intellectual vlog for you. Hope you like it. And I bet none of you have got to the end of this and don't even know what question I'm asking. So there you go, this will test you out, see if you see me vlog all the way through. Any road up, that's the end of me vlog for today. Don't forget to ride safe and ride invisible, like Mr B says. And if you like my channel, subscribe there!